Um, this is a song. This is on my my the last album I recorded called Plays with Music. And um, how many of you have that album? It, Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And, um, yeah, I, my timing was terrible. I came out with this album, and, and COVID hit us. So um, it, not many people know about this album, but I'm really happy with the album the way it came out. Um, it's a big orchestral album, uh, basically, and um, a the musical theater songs, but I kind of wanted to reinvent the songs to keep them in the spirit of the original, um, and so that's what this album is about. And I introduced a few new songs on it as well. This particular song <laughs> is one of those songs. It's a song that I heard actually online. I was just um, on the internet and listening to uh, different young people kind of showing their wares. This was a uh, college. Um, and the, the folks were about to graduate, and they were doing songs. They were singers, songwriters, performers, and they were showing their wares, you know, on, online. I thought it was so smart of them and industrious of them to do that. And I was really impressed with their talent. And then they came to one song, and I went, oh, that is an amazing song. That sounds like a song that should have been written by somebody much, much older than them. And it also felt like they wrote my song. Occasionally, like, um, there's maybe three or maybe only four songs that when I immediately heard the song, I thought, i got to sing that song, that's my song. They, they didn't know they wrote that song for me. Now, one of the reasons is, this song is sort of kind of a Halloween sh song, and I was born on Halloween. So, um, but um, what's great about this particular song is it it's sort of kind of a Halloween song, but not really. Um, it's written by Nico Benson and Elizabeth Suggs, and keep your ears open for these young composers, um, because they've got some bright futures, I think, in, uh, in writing for the theater or whatever they want to write for. as things go. I grew up, I learned some stuff, so now there's lots I know. I wouldn't use the word amazing, more like something slightly less. But if I had to say, I'd say mine's pretty good. I guess I never thought about it much before. No animal wizard came to my door. Now, I don't mean an actual wizard. It was a little kid in a wizard costume. Well, actually, it was wearing a dragon costume with a wizard hat, which was kind of confusing, but it's important to the story. So, dragon costume, wizard hat, got that? Okay. It was Halloween at 617, precisely. I checked my watch. The doorbell rang, and I grabbed the bag of all I had, which was butterscotch. I said, sorry, kid, it's all I got. He looked at me and said, heck, the lot, mentor. He looked at me, cause we both knew that that was pretty lame. As he turned around to leave, back to wherever kids like him go, with little dragon wings flopping down the driveway, I said, hey, what are you anyway, some kind of wizard dragon? And he said, no way. Right now, this is just my costume. I'm the wizard every day. He was a wizard every day. Okay. I don't know what wizards do. Magic stuff, I guess. I guess they're just these guys with pointy hats, well, more or less. And I guess that they have powers like turning into birds or throwing bad guys into volcanoes. I bet you if they wanted, they could turn into a cat. Not me. I'm just a guy who works a job. My office people name tag says, hello, my name is Rob. And I've had one mess up me. Long time ago. I hit my peak. 
I've forgotten how to play. Wish I could say. Thank you.